So I made a series. <laughs> Welcome back to Planet Levin, and today we're going to be um, returning in Levin, of course. After the release of my series, I was figuring out how I can make a really good comeback in YouTube. So I thought, painting. Literal paint. Painting. I'm not joking. So yeah, I thought it was going to be a good idea, but then I figured out... Um, it's kind of crap. Hmm. Well, first of all, it is kind of crap. Thank you for that analogy. How are you here? I um, simply came in here when I stopped recording so that I can feel like I'm talking to myself. Okay, fair point. So, anyway, I'm going to be creating a um, sort of a paint, sort of a painting tutorial, sort of a not painting tutorial. I'm not going to be, you know, making directions. I'm going to be following a tutorial. Sorry. So what am I going to be doing? So I have these sets of paint here. So what I'm going to be doing exactly is the first thing I'm going to do is create two paintings. One where I don't use a video and I kind of botch it up and I'm going to try to use reference. Now I realize I don't have any space for the brown. And number two, when I try to actually create a painting with a tutorial by Bob Ross. So I kind of ran out of storage on my phone. Yes, I'm serious. So now I'm gonna be ripping some paper like a savage because I can't uh, paint on the top over here or else it might spill. I most certainly do not want all of this paper to go to waste, so I'm going to be taking just two, since I'm going to be making two paintings only. On. Let's hope that mom doesn't get upset. Look at that, perfect grip. Great. All right, so I did get some paper, but the question is, where the hell am I gonna paint on the top of? Well, I was thinking some cardboard, but I found out that was stupid when I didn't have any. So now I'm internally trying to figure out where I can paint on the top here, so. Give me a quick break. Um, play that one beeping thing with like that, you know, that red bars or like yellow bars. Or just play the one that goes like, please stand by, you know, with a funky music. So I found this. <laughs> Um, in one of the donation thingies, so I thought I could use this. I hate my life. So, we're gonna be trying to... We're gonna try and align this and uh, hopefully uh, not get any paint on anything or stuff like that. So yeah. So time to stick this on the, uh, you know, just play that thing again. So yeah, done taping this to the wall. So now I'm gonna be trying to find a reference. Um, I wanted to, um, hold on. So I wanted to create um, a painting, exactly the similar painting to like, uh, uh, the painting on Miss Jackson, the Miss Jackson music video by Panic at the Disco. Here's a brief clip. Yeah, no one's gonna. Uh, I, I, I just, I just really can't sing this song. Sorry. Of course, I'm not gonna play it. You f so, I, uh, I got inspired by that. I was think, I was thinking maybe I could do that. When I realized I didn't know how, so I'm gonna be pulling up a reference, a reference thingy here. Now I've pulled it up. 
I'm gonna be trying and replicate some of the some of the things that I found in here while at the same time be a idiot. So um yeah, let's let's get started. Alright, so let's start let's start painting. Well let's start creating the the big part which is essentially the uh, the, night the nighttime sky. So what I'm gonna be trying to use is like a really dark shade of blue. So I'm gonna be using this right over here if the camera can even see it. So let's use it. I really wish I really wish that there's more things that we can talk about mostly because I don't know what to say while I'm painting um, yeah I'll just probably stop recording here and then I'll get back to you once this is done so I'm done with the result I'm done I like the result of it um, here's here's a little preview of what it looks like so that's really cool um there's still more to go um yeah so um what i was thinking is i'm gonna be putting a little bit of like light brown ish kind of thing and then you know like create some sort of like sand yeah i think i'm gonna be using this one over here it's more of like you know and then i'll mix it with white if i can if i can't then um uh, wing it <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, let's start mixing. That's actually pretty cool. So it's going pretty well, as you can see. Um, I've already painted sand over here. I was thinking I was what I wanted to make like some sort of sign. I'm I was initially going to like try and find some sort of you know painting that I could use, but I think this looks great. I think I can just wing this. All I need to do now is just to blend it, and then, you know, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, yeah, so, see, see you guys at the blending. So, see you guys at the blending process. So, yeah, blending process has really gone well. Um, here, oh, fuck, I forgot. Um, I'll just show you, I'll just show you. Um, that's the end result over there. So, yeah. It's really cool. So yeah, that's the end result of the blending. All I gotta do is like try to figure out what I want for this painting. Probably a sign, probably a cabin or something like that. Um, either way, I'm gonna try to figure it out. So, so I think I figured it out. I think I my final would be a sign. Uh, I think I would want to use like a, a sign or something and then maybe, you know, and maybe put like XI, my logo, right over there. And then, yeah, something like, something like that. So, I'm going to be, uh, yeah, I've refilled water and everything else. So, I'm going to be using brown for this. I hope the painting doesn't get mixed or the paint gets mixed because that would be a shame. And, you know, really bad. I've done that on multiple occasions. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's go paint a sign. So it's looking kind of great. Yeah, um, take a look at this. Ooh, that's really great. I really like this. I, I wish I could put some more detail, but I don't know what detail I want to put. I, I just really don't know what kind of detail I want to put. But yeah, I, I think this looks great. You yeah, know, nowhere. So now it's time for the biggest one yet, and the biggest one... I'm gonna have to create a Bob Ross painting. Alright, so now that that's complete, um, 
I'm going to be doing a Bob Ross tutorial. I'm going to be finding one video and then I will take a look at what we're looking at. So yeah, um, I'm going to find something to paint and then afterwards I'm, you know, probably, you know, try it. Yeah. All right. So I'll just uh, clean up and then we'll get to the Bob Ross painting soon. Okay, so I kind of ran out of storage on my phone. I hope this is recording. I took a little quick break so that I can clear out some storage in my phone. So now I'm here and yeah. So yeah. just a quick recap. Here's what's going on in the Bob Ross video. Today we're going to start with a white canvas and we're going to use some magic black on it. So I'm going to let you see, cover the canvas, and this is magic black here. We'll just cover the entire canvas. So what basically happens is that he covers the entire canvas with black. So unfortunately, since I'm working with um, watercolor paint, I'm not working with acrylic paint. I wish I did, but unfortunately I can't find any and it would be a hassle to go into the store. So I'm just, you know, that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing over the past few hours. So we're just going to paint the entire canvas black and then we'll see what happens. All right, would you look at that? Um, this video is going slow. So I'm going to be cutting the video here for a while. I'll be back. So yeah, let's cut the video. Wait, why did I press record? So now that I've um, painted the entire easel black, easel, paper, f it. Now let's move on to the next process. Apply this exactly the same way as we do the magic white. Let's take a one inch brush and some titanium white. And let's figure out maybe Maybe there's a little light back in here. So with the white paint, we'll just begin making little X's. He paints a little bit of white in an X formation. Um, since I'm using watercolor paint, I'm going to try and not, not, make the pa not make the paint a little wet, but not at the same time, not a, a little bit, not too dry, not too wet, not too dry. Um, just the right amount so that it can be both absorbed and not absorbed. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So yeah. So now we're going to be, so now that I've blended it, we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, today I want to mix up some alizarin crimson and phthalo green in about equal parts. This makes a beautiful gray color. Let's take a one inch brush and load some paint into it. And we can go back now and begin putting in some little details that are far away. And I don't want a lot of detail yet. All I want is indications back here. So he creates some little trees in the background on the sky. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm going to be going to the next step. We'll take a one inch brush and first I'm going to put some titanium white in it. And now let's use the fan brush. And we'll load a lot put of the, the gray, gray color on it. And maybe back in here, we can see some little tree trunks. All right, so he creates little lines on the trees to indicate that there are probably some trees without any leaves. So I'm going to be doing that. So let's try it out. That's kind of, that's kind of looking great. Let's continue. Okay, now let's take some titanium white, very, very little paint, and begin putting a little hill back here. Let it mix with the magic black. So he is creating a hill. So yeah, let's create a hill, a hill that I will die on, a hill that I will cry on, a hill that I will sleep on. Either way, either way, hill's a hill. Um, so yeah, so let's try it out. Su 
super long. This video is long. It took me three months to edit this. Be grateful, Levin. It's not that bad. It's looking great. I just need a charger. Alright, so, um, I've created the cabin, um, let's continue. And we can come in here and put some boards right here, just pulling straight down. Alright, so he creates some snow, some snow on the roof to indicate, you know, snow, and then he drags down some brown paint, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that now. So now I've created the cabin, um, let's move on to the next step. Okay, now we can go sort of in the opposite direction and put some logs going this way. And all we do is touch, sort of give it a little downward pull this time. Alright, so I'm gonna do some other logs on the sideways, so... Okay, so I'm done with the little shed over there at the back. So yeah, let's uh, go to the next process. Now, let's go right up in here and give him a couple of windows. Maybe he needs some windows while we're looking at the back of his cabin. Alright, so I'm going to be making some windows. Um, I'm going to be cleaning up, cleaning up, and then afterwards I'll make some windows. Just start right here and begin bringing the snow right on down. Alright, so yeah, I painted the snow. Looks like I'm done. So yeah, that was a really long process. Um, yeah, so let's compare and contrast. Okay, so after several hours of painting, here's the end result of the first one. Now, this doesn't have much detail other than the fact that it just says nowhere and there's like a sign and, you know. Um, this doesn't serve any purpose other than the fact that it looks freaking great. Sorry, it looks freaking great. So that's really cool. The second painting from Bob Ross tutorial has a little more detail. Although the details are slightly, slightly, well, averted, averted from the actual expectations of the painting, I think it looks great. There's more detail into this. Rather than this, this is just simple, but it's really good. This one has a little bit of detail, and it, and it's still pretty good. So all in all, I love, I love both of them, and I'm gonna be keeping them for the rest of my life, and in my will. This will go in the merch line for about like uh, a few thousand, a few thousand pesos each. I'm just ki I'm kidding. I'm keeping this for myself. You're not getting any. B so yeah, thank you for uh, visiting Planet Lebanon. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and if you do, please consider coming back. But in the meantime, we bid you adieu. Goodbye. <laughs>